Farmers in arid and semi-arid areas of Kenya have been urged to diversify from growing maize to pulses in a bid to improve food security and nutrition among families living in this region. In this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip K. Tan delves deep into what pulses really mean for Kenya's food security. Over the years, Kenya has over-relied on maize as a staple food crop, despite the crop being prone to failure every time there is a slight weather change. Now crop experts are calling on the country to diversify and embrace pulses as an alternative food crop. Over time, the seasons have changed. The rainfall is not as good as we used to receive like 10 years ago. I would like to call upon the farmers to, to plant these droughtland crops. In recognition to the contribution that pulses can play to human well-being and to the environment, the United Nations General Assembly declared 2016 as the International Year of Pulses. We are focusing on the droughtland crops, sorghum, finger millet, cowpea, green grams, and pigeon peas. According to Food and Agricultural Organization, pulses, a subgroup of legumes, are crop plant members of leguminous family commonly known as the pea family that produce edible seeds which are used for human and animal consumption. Only legumes harvested for dry grains are classified as pulses. It is particularly important to know that pulses have a very low water footprint compared with other protein sources and can be grown in very poor soils where other crops cannot be cultivated. Once we support the farmers, to produce enough. We also have to bring in factors that can also have resilience. Resilience is so that we even, even when there's a, a drought, they are able to go back and also produce uh, food in a sustainable way. According to Esther Mosili, pulses can play an important role in climate change adaptation since they have a broad genetic diversity from which climate resilient varieties can be selected or bred. We want to see increment in production and productivity. And at the, and the same time, we want to see the farmer that is eating well, a balanced, nutritious, nutritious uh, diet, and then the supply is taken to the market and they are able to address other, other, other domestic requirements. Pulses form part of the local cuisine in many parts of the world and are a highly traded commodity. However, despite the benefits highlighted, their consumption at an individual level has seen a slow but steady decline and production has not increased at the same rate as other commodities such as cereals. We are telling them, why do you struggle to plant things like maize competing with Italy? While agronomically, the environment here is very, can really accommodate the growing of the sorghum, the growing of the green grass and the cowpeas and pigeon peas. Recognizing the enormous potential of these crops, the International Year of Pulses aimed to raise awareness on the beneficial impact that they can have on food security, nutrition and the environment to encourage an increase in their production. Philip.